Welcome to Flowersoft's floral designs for card making. On our card designer CD-ROM, you will find 620 beautiful images of coordinating designs. It contains 10 design folders, each covering a different flower, with each flower available in 20 different shapes, and each folder also containing backing papers for each design. The CD-ROM artwork is set to A4 and A5 paper sizes. If your printer uses USA paper sizes, you can buy the folders individually as a download on our USA website, www.flower-soft.us.com. To access the designs, simply insert the CD-ROM into your PC, and if it doesn't auto-play, simply go to Start, My Computer, and select the Floral Design CD-ROM. Here you can see the 10 design folders, each covering a different flower. And if we expand to Folder View, we can see that each design folder has four subfolders. An index, which contains a PDF that's great to print out as a quick reference. We have backing papers, available in A4 and A5. Now you'll notice that all of the artwork has been saved as a PDF. This just makes sure it's easy to open no matter what operating system you are running. Then we've got coordinating shades, blank coordinating shapes which you can use to create inserts or shaped card bases. Something else we can do at this point is we can change the view from detail to thumbnails. This allows us to view the artwork before we open it, saving us a bit of time and making things a bit easier. And last but not least, we have the floral designs themselves. Stunning floral arrangements set within nestability shapes. And as we've said, all of the artwork has been saved as a PDF, so it's very easy to print. So we select the artwork, open it, and select print. Now it's worth noting two things at this point. If we're going to cut out the nestability shapes with our spellbinders dies, it's important that you do not adjust the printer scaling, as this may stretch the image. And here in my printer, you can see I have page scaling set to none. It might also be worth going into the printer settings and selecting best quality. Here with my printer, if I select properties, I have the option to set print quality to normal, draft or best. By selecting best, it just makes sure we get the best possible output. In fact, it's also a good idea to use good quality paper rather than copier paper to ensure the best results. It's really as simple as that. And with that, I'll leave you with a selection of floral designs, backing papers and finished cards made using the contents of this CD-ROM.